Ubisoft is releasing Prince of Persia, The Lost Crown. This is one of the first new video games that users can get their hands on this year, but it's also a product quite different from what fans of the franchise might have expected. Ubisoft Montpellier has indeed made the bold decision to create a Metroidvania, aiming to evolve the platform and action-adventure formulas used in the past. The Lost Crown could potentially be the rebirth that Prince of Persia fans have been eagerly awaiting. Is it worth buying this game? Unlike other entries in the series, this time our protagonist is not the iconic Prince of Persia. Instead, we'll step into the shoes of Sargon, a brave warrior belonging to the Immortals, the kingdom's most valiant fighters. The story kicks off after celebrations for a major victory, presented in a prologue that serves as a tutorial. However, the festivities are short-lived. Prince Ghassan is kidnapped and taken to Mount Kaf, a mysterious place where time doesn't seem to flow regularly. Our goal is to use every means necessary, along with new powers we unlock, to save the prince and alter his destiny. The narrative of Prince of Persia. The Lost Crown may not be groundbreaking, but it serves its purpose in keeping the player engaged, encouraging exploration of the areas to discover the mysteries hidden by Mount Kaf. On the flip side, the story's quality is not exceptional, and some players may be motivated solely to complete the main quest. However, the character design and voice acting for each dialogue are commendable, though without particularly surprising plot twists. The most crucial aspect of any respectable Metroidvania, of course, is the gameplay mechanics and Prince of Persia. The Lost Crown not only proves to be highly enjoyable, but intends to reward player variety and push their understanding of mechanics to the extreme. The combat is incredibly satisfying, featuring a series of ground and aerial attacks, dodges, and even specific powers unlocked as the game progresses. Sargon can become an unstoppable war machine, providing immense satisfaction to players. Of course, enemies aren't passive. They are designed with diverse characteristics and can resist or dodge our attacks. Players need to figure out the best gameplay style based on the area and enemies they face, although a bit more variety in this aspect would have been appreciated. While there are different enemy categories, many can be defeated using specific mechanics, and there are rare moments where you need to brainstorm and adapt your playstyle. Boss battles and unique enemy encounters, true strengths of the game, are where you'll be tested, allowing enough room for experimentation and spectacular actions. Ubisoft Montpellier aim to avoid pushing players toward a single playstyle, making these battles incredibly memorable. Of course, the Lost Crown wouldn't truly be a real Prince of Persia without the proverbial traps. As in any respectable Metroidvania, this game will require players to execute perfect jumps and aerial acrobatics to avoid circular saws, spikes, or any other looming danger. As Sargon acquires special powers, the platforming stages become more challenging, with increased difficulty if you choose to deviate from the predefined path to seek secrets or carefully hidden resources. Regarding the main campaign, these areas are well calibrated to avoid excessive frustration, at least until you reach the actual endgame. As for accessible features, another interesting addition is the ability to take a screenshot of a specific area and apply it to the map, helping plan backtracking based on the unlocking of new powers. This feature, while available in limited quantities, is a useful addition that we hope other games in the genre will adopt as an example of combining accessibility and challenge. Regarding the game's longevity, Ubisoft recently claimed that the main campaign of Prince of Persia, The Lost Crown, could last up to 25 hours. According to several reviewers, the publisher has exaggerated. If you focus mainly on the main campaign, the adventure should last between 10 and 12 hours, depending on your skill and how much time you spend exploring all available areas. In conclusion, according to those who have played Prince of Persia, The Lost Crown, it has demonstrated that the Metro Edvania genre could indeed be the right path to evolve the series after years of indecision and a gradual disappearance from the spotlight. At this point, we can only hope that it serves as a true example to usher in a new beginning of good ideas and enjoyable games, perhaps even for other future games from the same publisher. If you enjoy Metroidvanias, we highly recommend buying this game. If you love the old chapters of the saga, we recommend the purchase. But keep in mind that you'll be facing a different title than Sands of Time and Warrior Within. Thank you for your attention, and we'll see you in the next video.